This is a T-28B. It's a na former Navy trainer. And this particular model was used for land training only. There is another model with a tail hook used for carrier training. And then uh, there's a model that was a fighter bomber used in Vietnam and Laos. And also the French used a version, uh, fighter bomber version in Morocco. Uh, it has a 1,425 horsepower radial engine. This engine, uh, a, the basic engine was designed in the 30s. It flew in World War II on the B-17, and it flew on the uh, Grumman Wildcat, also the C-47, and it was such a good engine that since World War II, it's been put on many aircraft, including the T-28, the S-2 Tracker, the Grumman Albatross, the uh, uh, two different helicopters, the H-21 and the H-34 had this uh, R-1820 engine. Uh, it's a lot of uh, fun to fly. It goes fast, it makes noise, it does use a lot of gas. Uh, for one hour flight you can uh, count on uh, burning essentially a gallon a minute with the uh, takeoff and climb. And uh, I take it to a lot of air shows. Uh, it was built after World War II, but it's still considered a warbird. And uh, what else can I say? It, this particular one is uh, bright yellow. I named it Yellow Barrel because back in the 30s they had the N3N Stearman, which the Stearman was referred to as Yellow Barrel because they were intimidated by it. And then the yellow SNJ during World War II was called Yellow Peril. And, but no one ever called it T-28 Yellow Peril, so I decided it was time. Uh, so I had a logo designed, as you can see up on the cowling, and it's called Yellow Peril. Uh, so can you say something about it to me? Now, it can, has, you, uh, can you say something about the engine here from here? You can see it has uh, nine very large cylinders, only one row of cylinders, and these uh, cylinders and pistons are the largest of any radial engine because you get 1,820 cubic inches of displacement out of only nine cylinders. To go any higher, like an R2000, they have to have two rows of seven cylinders each to get that amount of displacement. So it's a very reliable engine. Uh, this one is approaching 1,000 hours and it still burns very little. It holds uh, a little over 12 gallons of oil. We use 60 weight oil in it. And uh, the uh, gas tanks hold 177 gallons of uh, 100 low lead fuel, which is the common fuel used in uh, general aviation aircraft these days, piston aircraft. So uh, not a lot else to say. It's uh, See, it, it, it was overhauled by an aircraft cylinder and turbine. And you see the plate. This particular engine is called a Wright Cyclone, but they made so many of them that they uh, they were licensed to Lycoming to, to build these engines also. And uh, it's just a. Uh, you see the airspeed from the from the side. The maximum speed is 340 knots, which you could only achieve in a dive. Typically, I fly around at 200 knots ground speed, which is 230 miles an hour. So you get some, get places in a hurry, and, and you don't use as much fuel. I can fly faster, but it takes more fuel. So, what else can I say about it? It's a wonderful old airplane. There are a lot of them in the U.S. licensed to civilians like me, and, uh, including this wonderful D model over here. That is the fighter bomber and the camouflage paint job. And there's another uh, yellow T-28 down at the end of the line next to the T-34. And now we don't have a C model here which has the tail hook, but uh, we have two B's and a D in this airship.